So, you're coming to visit Minneapolis and St. Paul. Well, gosh, we're just darn glad to have you. I think you'll really like her beautiful scenery and all the different activities you can do here. There are just a lot of things to keep you occupied. I know we may have a certain reputation around the country, but the way we see it, the Twin Cities are a lot hotter than you think. the mighty Mississippi. The history and people of the Twin Cities are wrapped up with the story of this great river. Just over 200 miles from its source, at Lake Itasca in northern Minnesota, Minneapolis and St. Paul are the first major cities that the river runs through on its 3,700 mile journey to the Gulf of Mexico. In 1680, Belgian missionary Father Louis Hennepin was the first European to lay eyes on this part of the river when he stumbled upon St. Anthony Falls, just east of what is now downtown Minneapolis. Over the years, these falls have played a vital part in the development of this entire region. Just downriver from the falls is one of Minneapolis's most striking architectural landmarks. The Stone Arch Bridge has spanned the Mississippi since 1883 when it was constructed for the Great Northern Railroad. After a century of service as a train bridge, the Stone Arch was purchased by the state of Minnesota in 1992 and restored to its former glory. It now serves as a footbridge into downtown and is a favorite stop for sightseers, weekend athletes, and strollers of all sorts. Just below the bridge, visitors can take a footpath from Nicollet Island right down to the water and get a duck's eye view of the Great River. But St. Anthony Falls has served as much more than just a scenic backdrop to Minneapolis. Before centuries of erosion took their toll, this one and only waterfall in the Mississippi River used to plunge 16 feet over a limestone ledge. The rapids below were the perfect location for the city's grain milling industry to set up shop. The remains of these great 19th century mills still stand on the riverbanks, and now, with the opening of the Mill City Museum in 2003, visitors can step back into the days when these mills drove the engine of commerce for the entire region. Fashioned from the ruins of the Washburn A Mill, the Mill City Museum is a wonder of design. Architect Tom Meyer used the existing dilapidated structure and fashioned the museum around it. The results are a striking marriage of past and present. Inside the museum, visitors get an up-close peek of what a working grain mill was like. A nine-story ride dubbed the Flower Tower takes guests in a vintage freight elevator through the many stages of mill production. Interactive displays and exhibits showcase the variety of products produced in these mills, as well as their cultural impact. And kids even have the chance to roll up their sleeves and do a little baking. <laughs> and more than a little eating. It's the perfect way to get in touch with the history of the Twin Cities and its major companies like General Mills and Pillsbury, whose products are as American as mom and apple pie. No matter what those pesky, low-carb diet people might say. And you'll bake all your family's favorites better with gold medal, because it's the flour of the wheat, the very best part. You can make nut bread, dumplings, cookies, a whole dozen different good things. Actually, Bisquick is a whole new world of baking in a box. 
Mama, won't you Pillsbury, 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 Mama, won't you Pillsbury, Pillsbury me. <laughs> And who are you? I'm Poppin' Fresh, the Pillsbury Doughboy. But the falls, bridge, and the museum are just a few highlights in this revitalized area. A short walk down the riverbank is the new home of the acclaimed Guthrie Theater, one of the country's premier regional theaters. On the other side of the Mississippi is River Place in the historic St. Anthony district of town. Here, you can find a true mix of the old and the new. Nestled among high-end shops and condominiums is the Ard Godfrey House, the oldest frame structure in the area, dating from 1849. Five years later, Our Lady of Lourdes Catholic Church opened its doors around the corner, and its beautifully restored structure is one of the city's true architectural gems. But the diversity around here doesn't stop with the buildings. Right around River Place are some of the finest restaurants in all of Minneapolis, including those serving Japanese and Polish cuisine. It's the perfect way to end a day in this historic part of the city. <laughs> 